Taurus, welcome to the Onyx Moon Tarot. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Go to my Facebook page, the Onyx Moon Tarot. Follow and like for a daily pick a card. Taurus, there is no gender in tarot. This is something that could have happened to you already. Something that could be happening to you now or in the future. This is a collective read. I'm pulling for your sun sign, moon, or rising, or cross watcher energy. As a collective read, it may not resonate for you. So, Taurus, I'm using the Lover Oracle for your Oracle card reading and the Broke Bitch Tarot for your Tarot card reading. I can't stop thinking about you. Well, you're in somebody's mind rent-free, Taurus. I can't stop thinking about you. Hmm. Can't stop thinking about you. Interesting. Obsessive thoughts, possibly. Let's pull out a couple more cards before we... Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going to say you're not with this person. Yeah, okay. Heartache, heartbreak, three of swords. You're overcoming this. You may even be in a, they showed me who they are. I see who they are. Can't change them. I'm going to forgive them. But that doesn't mean that they need to be in my circle of trust. I love them, but they're not good for me. They cause me a lot of grief, a lot of heartache, but they need to stay at an arm's length. You know them for who they are. They don't communicate well. They can be very salty, very manipulative. A lot of negative energy surrounds them. They could have obsessive thoughts. They could be, they could have, they could have clinical depression. You could have walked away from this because it brought you down. It could have affected your finances, not because they took money from you, which maybe they did, but because you got so wound up in this relationship that you let things slide at work because this was obsessive in your mind and you just did not pay attention to what you were supposed to be doing. This is someone that you dealt with that wanted to put on the facade, and I am saying facade because this person wears a mask. They put on the facade of being normal is subjective, but I'm going to say normal. What everybody else does, what is expected of them, how everybody else behaves what societal norms are. Like a mentor, look up to me because I am how you should behave. This is how, these are, the, these, are, these are societal norms. These are societal morals. This is how everyone should act. I, am, I have high morals. I have high standards. Pay attention to how I behave because these are what the world standards go by. And this is how this person wants people to see them. Where inside, that is not, or behind closed doors, or in the dark, that is not how this person behaves. They do, they are very intelligent, they do have a lot, they're, they do have a lot of knowledge that they can share, they can mentor people. But that devil energy takes over, lustful. Malicious, gossipy, manipulative, reckless, not at all opposed to throwing hands if they have to. I could be talking the same sex. Very arrogant, where they, they don't think that they are at all arrogant. 
this person is this person may this person may think that they are well liked when in the reality is people think that they are an asshole. They take risks. But they want people to think that they are someone who has very high morals and high standards and they want to be that cookie cutter life that the world is looking at and holds them in high esteem where deep inside they have kinks and they indulge in those kinks am i saying am i i don't know if i'm i don't know if i'm saying this to you the right way When it comes to making decisions, they lie to themselves. They have a very difficult time in making decisions because they tell themselves lies. They lie to themselves, therefore they lie, lie to everybody else. As I said, the facade. For example, this may not be them, but for example, I have a wonderful, happy marriage. Look at our happy marriage. We have the picture book happy marriage. Yet, they run to their gay lover. Like a politician. How many politicians have we seen in the past, I don't know, 10 years? With the smiling wife and the two children running for office. And then it comes out that they actually had a gay lover. So, they wear this facade. Maybe your person is bisexual for me to say that. They, they may tell you something. You may actually call them out on this. You may see right through them. I have the Seven of Swords reversed. Seven of Swords is about lying, cheating, betraying, even stealing, being a thief. Doesn't have to be of money. Could be of time, emotions. This is reversed. They may want to come back around. I don't think you're with this person in a romantic sense. You may have to work with them. Some type of a... You may have to interact with them somehow. Some type of a fellowship. Maybe you're in a club, church, something. Where you see them with this mask. But you know that you know the truth. They are rethinking of how they can come back around to be with you. And they're going to tell you something all about how they behave. They're going to let you see a little bit behind the mask, which you already know, I think. They're not going to tell you everything. You already know that they that they lie to themselves, that they can't make a decision. You, you already know these things. You already know that they're very overbearing, my way or the highway, tunnel vision, my way is the right way, that they have a very short temper, a very short fuse, very defensive. Somebody criticizes them, they're right on top of them with mean, spiteful, hateful words like, do not criticize me because I am the great and almighty, powerful, whomever they are. Like nobody gets in to see the wizard, not no way, not no how, because I am the great and almighty, powerful, whomever they are. And that may have been what attracted to you. That may have been why you were attracted to this person. But you, now you might be seeing behind the great and almighty, powerful, whomever they are, to this is all just a facade, because what you're really seeing is that they are manipulative. That behind that great and almighty powerful is someone that is very weak and shallow and manipulative liar. Egotistical. Malicious. Gossipy. Wishy-washy can't make a decision. They're going to tell you something about this. Maybe why they behave in a certain way. 
they have obsessive thoughts, which could go along with this. There could be some anxiety, obsessive thoughts. I would not be surprised if if there would be a nine of swords coming out that they can't sleep at night because they constantly think about you, especially if you have removed yourself from their everyday life. If you work together, if you were their lover and, you know, you were together all the time, they, um, I, I don't have the cards out here for narcissism and I don't like to use that word, but this could be narcissistic tendencies, which we all have them, but this could be playing more so towards actual narcissistic tendencies, actual narcissism. Nine of Pentacles is reversed. And I said, this is pre-empress energy, this is reversed. You may have saw, saw this person as a very high vibing, someone that has a lot of clout, the great and almighty powerful and you're now seeing them as this Nine of Pentacles reversed, that they're superficial, they're deceitful, that flexing with their finances is a really just a facade. They like to make people think what they are. There was a term that we used for a boss that we had at one time. We called him an empty suit walk up and down the halls like they had something, like they had power. And they were nothing but an empty suit. They did absolutely nothing. We kept, the, we kept everything running. They did nothing. So this person is kind of like an empty suit. They have power of what? They don't even, they don't even have power of themselves or of their own mind. They have, they have no control of their own mind because they obsess. Obsession is not love. Understand that. Obsession is a way to try to control you. They're trying to figure out how they can pull you back so they can control. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Wheel of Fortune, it's a cycle of life. It's divine timing. What goes up must come down. You could be dealing with a fixed sign. You could be dealing with another Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius. This is setbacks. They have bad luck. They want to blame other people except themselves for their own actions. We all have to take accountability for things that we do in our life. I couldn't make this I couldn't make this reading up if I tried. If I would have just picked out cards to go along with the narrative of what I am speaking. I have the magician reversed. This is all about this person has been handed everything from the divine, from God, from source, whatever you want to call it. They have all of the pentacles. They have all of the cups, the pentacles, which is the wealth, the cups, which is the emotions and the feeling, the swords, thoughts, communications, the wands, the passion, the inspiration. They've been handed all of this to create a life of bounty, their dreams. They, they have it. Yet they're too lazy to actually apply it and use it to pull in what they want. So they choose to use manipulation and deceit. They don't have the clarity to be able to see that they have it. I don't know if it's poor self-esteem. They like to create illusions for people to see them in a certain light. It's actually very sad. You may, have, you may see the potential in this person, but you cannot be with someone because of potential. Ace of Swords reversed. Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth. It's reversed. They may tell you the truth and omit. Omitting is still lying. Misinformation. There could be some things going on mentally that they can't tell everything. That they lie to themselves because there could be something going on mentally that it could be organic. That it could be something that they cannot help. But the things that they can take charge of, they're not.
what did I say? Nine of Swords. The anxiety, up at night, obsessive thoughts. Taurus. This is your reading. You can like, share, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if it resonates. Go to my Facebook page, The Onyx Moon Tarot, to follow, like, for a daily pick-a-card. Let me know if this resonates.